Welcome back, everyone, to Dice Station Zebra. I'm Jocelyn, and with me today, as always, is Rob. Hi, Rob. Hi, Jocelyn. How's it going? How are you? I'm great. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good, thanks. What are um, we looking so, at today? Ru rumor has it we're doing a feature figure today. <laughs> we are. Feature figure. <laughs> so, we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about uh, Baron Zemo, set number sixteen from the Disney Plus set, which just came out. Marvel Studios Disney Plus. Awesome. Let's have a look at him. Let's do it. So first off, I really like the color of his shirt. Right. The purple. That's par it's partially the like reason that. why I picked him. So, um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So Baron Zemo, set number 16, is a common in the set. He has the keywords Masters of Evil, Assassin, Ruler, Soldier, Spy. Um, pretty good keywords in there. Uh, his real name yeah. is Helmet. I don't think I knew that. Helmet Zemo. So, That's him. Yeah. So what's cool about uh, good old helmet here? He's not wearing a helmet. He should have a helmet. Um, <laughs> he's got a special <laughs> movement power. And you'll give yes. up your tour guide. Uh, passenger yeah. two, leap climb, and stealth. He also yeah. has willpower, leadership, and empower. So um, I thought this passenger two is kind of cool because, like, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, uh, Baron Zemo takes Sam and Bucky in his plane. Right. Yeah. Big, big spoiler. He puts them on his plane and takes them all around. <laughs> um. So he's got passenger too, right? For Sam and yep. Bucky, but he can he can carry anybody. Yeah. yeah. So he can carry anybody. He's got leap climb, which is great because that means that, you know he doesn't have to worry about elevation and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he's got stealth. So, um, let's take a look at the back of his card. He's got a four range, uh, with a single target. He's got that yep. special movement power on all four of his clicks. That's right. Um, so he could just pick people up and take them with him however he decides to move. And that's really what makes him really cool. He's a really cool taxi for 30 points. Yeah. Um, super easy. He's got willpower, which is great because yeah. on a five or a six roll at the beginning of your turn, he can remove an action token, which means he can do it all again. Mm -hmm. He has leadership so he can take a token off one of the people he carried so if he carried in someone who made an attack the following turn or whatever and he needs to take a token off them he can and then also when he gets a little further down his dial instead of the leadership he has in power so that person gets a plus one to their damage instead of getting the token taken off so he's he's pretty a pretty good utility piece if you ask me i think so i mean just for 30 points you're getting leadership right there so you're getting an extra action a uh, token for yep. your turns, right? Mm -hmm. And you have a, a taxi with passenger two. So I yep. think he's great for 30 points. Yep. I mean, you know, if you see him in sealed, I think it's definitely something to consider when you're playing your uh, your Marvel Studios Disney Plus uh, sealed events if you're going out to the stores. I think he's worth considering. And uh, with the stealth as well, you can't go wrong, right? Yeah, because you can put him in hindering and then he can't be targeted unless someone in the set has improved mm -hmm. targeting through hindering, which does exist in set. There's um, yep. a bunch of people that have the Inveg Avengers initiative team ability, which grants improved That's targeting true. through hindering. But with that said, you're not necessarily going to come up against that. So he might yeah. just be able to hide in stealth, do leadershipping, do willpowering, um, empowering, all of that fun stuff, and then just picking people up and taking them away however he wants, whenever he feels like it. So it seems very thematic to me. Um, yep, also, just good. take a look at that coat. I know, like, right? The guy's got style. He's rocking a great coat. <laughs> yeah, he's got that fur collar. <laughs> and, like, the sculpt is great. Like, you know, yeah. you could even feel the movement of his coat in the wind there. Yeah. Like, they've they've done a good job with it, so. Absolutely. Very good. Very thematic. So, that's good my piece. thoughts on Baron Zemo. Anything to add there, Rob? Um, well, no, I think uh, we basically covered it. Uh, if we look at those keywords again, um, soldiers easy to build with, and uh, there's lots of masters of evil out there. So yeah, and I think ruler is pretty good too. Yeah, ruler is good as well. Um, I mean, I think they're all good. I mean, we're seeing more spies as well. Um, yeah, you can basically put him on many teams, and he's good to go. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So awesome. that is Helmet Zemo. That's him. And viewers, you can let us know what you thought in the comments below. And while you're at it, you can hit the like and subscribe. And you can also reach out to us in the following places. We have an email, playstationzero.gmail.com. And you can find us over at Twitch, where we play live games occasionally. 
Uh, we're on Facebook and we have a Discord. If you'd like to join us over there, we have some good discussions going on, rules, discussions, team builds, and just general chat, things like that. And you can find us over at our Twitter handles and Instagram, and you can find Jocelyn at her Etsy store, where she makes handcrafted sewn items such as dice bags. And those are all the places you can find us. This is all true. Any, any final words, Jocelyn? I think that's all we've got. So see you that's later, Helmet. Got. Yep. Bye for now, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye.